name is Alan Hart and in today's video we're going to install a new water main. In the last video we, we showed you the home boost. So if you've got say 5, 6, 7 litres a minute and you want it to boost it up, up to 12 litres a minute then you can use this home boost kit. In this property I want it to be more than 12 litres a minute. My, my solution to do that is to put a new water main in. So in this video today we're going to put a new water main in. We've got a guy coming with a mole machine. He's going, to, um, he's going to mole a new main in. So I'll do some videos of that and show you how that works. And yeah, so let's have a look now. So just doing a survey now just to see where any pipes or wires uh, so that we don't mow through that. The stop top at the moment is just under this cupboard in here. And it's a little bit awkward to get into. It's also on it's on 15 mil. I don't know if you can see there. So what I'm gonna do, this this will be removed and then we'll put a bigger stop top in, a 22 mil one. The new stop top is gonna go in this cupboard here. So it's just gonna come up here. So just digging the holes out now in preparation. This this needs to be a minimum of 750 millimetres. It's gonna go about a metre, I believe, um, but we'll see, we'll see shortly. So I've just started to dig some of this out now. Ready for ready for machine to come in. I don't know if you can see there, we've got we've got a gas pipe there, and then right down there we've got a copper pipe that goes into house at the moment, so that's the 15 mil copper pipe that we've got going in. So we're just getting the machine off now. So this machine here now can tell us 
where the mole, what's the, what's it called, the point of it? The, well, the drill head. The drill head is at the moment. So we can see what arrow is there. And, it's, and that's how deep it is. So obviously we need it to be 0.75 minimum. So we're 0.82, so that's good. I've taken some bricks out here. There's going to be a few pipes coming in here. So it's just easier. I could have drilled it and it would have been neater, but it's just easier just to, just to smash it out. And then what I'll do is I'll brick it back up after. So I'll, I'll show you inside as well. So I'll just put a pipe there just to see the angle. But again, I've smashed quite a big hole out inside. And then I can sleeve it all and make it a good job. So this is the company that's doing the mulling for us. So it's supermole.co.uk they've got the mole now into there I don't know if you can see that it's down there now that's going through and it's going to turn that now because I want to put a new water main at the back of this garage here so they're going to continue now with this just see ground moving here So this uses water as it's going, as it's filling it. So we've got this MDPE water main now, and what they're going to do is they're going to connect it onto the end there, onto the end of the mole, and then they're going to just pull this back, pull this back in. going in as well at the same time. That's plenty. Okay, Matt. So we've got the one in now for the garage. Now they're just going to connect it on again and then pull it back for the main for the house. Again now, it just gets fed in the machine. The machine pulls it. So it's just taking taking poles off as it goes, and then just pulls it in. And then it's just getting fed in on that side.
so we've got two pipes in now so one goes to the garage and one goes to the front of the house so i'm going to put a stop top on and i've just got a little insert as well to go inside the pipe just leave the pipe when i do that so if we have a look at the stop tap that i've got i've got a brass stop tap one side of it is 25 mil and then the other side is 22 mil so the 22 mil side is that side and that goes on for copper pipe and this, this side is for the for the water main for the plastic pipe when we connect the plastic pipe so if we imagine we'd have that coming up out of the floor we've got a sleeve and that sleeve just goes inside push that in and then we'd get a stop tap get a stop tap right on make sure it's right in and then just tighten that up and it's just got an olive inside there so I've tightened my stop tap on there now so I've piped most of this up now we've got a main stop tap coming in from the road from the street and then we've got a stop tap there that's going to go out to the garage and then I've just used press fit and connected all that together above so I can see it all and um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to um, turn the existing stop tap off just for now and then we can turn this one on and then this will feed the house now stop tap off totally off and then um, I'm going to come back to that and I'll put a stop end on and totally cut that out then So that's a massive difference. That was us mauling a new water main. I hope you found it of some use. Um, I I really enjoyed it to be honest. I've never never seen I've never seen anything like that done before. Um, yeah, it's made a massive massive difference to the water at this property. So yeah, it were it were worthwhile doing. If you need a new water main doing, I would strongly advise you to to have somebody to come and mole a new main in. It's less disruption to your drive. Um, yeah, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll add um, I'll add a little um, time lapse video on the end of this so you can see it all from start to finish. Really, yeah. All right, thank you. Bye.